Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the Got Whips podcast. It is June 3rd. If you know what June 3rd is, we're best friends. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am Heather. I'm coming to you from Southern California. And yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Nikki. I'm coming to you from central Wisconsin. And it's already been a morning for me and Heather going back and forth about dates, times, what yeah. number as we're on. So yeah, oh, very, gonna be a complete complete show of craziness, I'm sure. Our normal banter, nothing any any worse than normal. Um did I say it's episode 74? I don't know. It's episode 74. I was told to be quiet that you always and you always start <laughs> I never <laughs> said be quiet. She said who's starting it that I do. I always do. Um <laughs> So, on this episode, we have uh, winners to announce for our Makeathon weekend. Uh, Sock it to me. Thank you to everybody who participated in Makeathon weekend. I think this is one of the highest numbers of participants that we've had. For, like for springtime, yeah, I would. Yeah. So. Um, especially for like we didn't announce. I mean, I know that we normally don't announce, but like we didn't really announce like prior. We just said, hey, it's on now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you to those who participated in Makeathon. Thank you to those who participated in Talk It To Me. Um, it might be a little light on the knitting content this morning as I look at what I have in front of me. But we're just going to go with it. And I'm sure it's going to be a shenanigan build episode like it always well, is <laughs> i go downstairs which i normally don't do this because with the grandma yeah and then heather's kids are now out of school so there's mm -hmm. that um mine is at his last day of school right now so yeah my mine had their last day of school yesterday and so far only one of the minions is awake i think maybe more but no nobody has come nobody else has come in here besides Matt so and he's always your like early riser always yeah so mm -hmm. okay um yeah we have winners Cal to tell you about mm -hmm. an FO a few whips That's and true. with my birthday being last weekend I have some gifts mm -hmm. So, and I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day week. If you are in the United States, I mean, it was a holiday weekend for us. And if you had a great weekend everywhere else, we're happy that too. Yeah, I just don't hope it's holiday for you there. <laughs> had a great weekend. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what countries observe Memorial Day. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it would just be a United States holiday, but. Right. but. So. Um. I can start with the Sakatumi winner and the mm -hmm. new Sakatumi. So Sakatumi for May, we had uh, 10 entries and random number generator picked for us number nine, which is Handmade Studio 11. And I looked it up and your name is Wendy from Australia. So if you could get in contact with me, email me on Ravelry, which pattern you would like. And we will get that mailed out to you. Yeah, not to exceed to some, yeah. US dollars. And then right after this, I will be putting up the new thread for <clears throat> June. And then I will send the, the hashtag to Heather so she can add it on the screen here for you. Yes, it will be right here. I wish I had music that would be like, da da, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just thoughts that pop in my head every once in a while. Um, and the other Cal I will talk about is the designer of the year, which is Melanie Berg. So any Melanie Berg pattern um, qualifies as long as it was less than 50% when the new year started. Mm -hmm. And you can enter it whenever you get it finished. Um, we will be drawing another quarterly prize the end of June. So you roughly have 28 days. I don't know. Okay. June 30th. Any, 
this quarter yet. No, that's what I was thinking. Sorry. Well, you look that up while I discuss my two cows. Yeah. Um, so the first one that I will talk about is the Whip Challenge 2022. Um, there's two threads open for that on our Ravelry group. The first one is the chatter, uh, where you just go in and let us know how many whips you have, how many you would like to challenge yourself to finish, and um, encourage each other, share patterns back and forth, you know, the general ch chat and chatter. Um, and then also we have an FO thread posted. If you just go in and let us know, this is number five of 10, three of eight, whatever. And um, we'll do the drawing for that thread at the end of June. And um, if you finish your, if you complete your goal or exceed your goal, whatever the case may be, um, you get entered to, or, <clears throat> excuse me, you get entered for a second drawing, or for you, you get entered twice for the grand prize drawing. Um, at the end of the year, everybody that participated in posting one FO at least gets into the uh, grand prize drawing at the end of the year. And then, um, like I said, yeah, if you, if you meet your goal or surpass your goal, you get entered twice. What I forgot to tell you guys about Sakatumi, it's a pair of socks and we have a coupon code from Airy51 that you get double entries if you use her yarn. So if you go over to her shop and use Sakatumi10, all one word, you get 10% off your entire purchase. So don't forget to go show her some love and we love to see those socks too. Sorry, I forgot that part. That's and I, I was wrong about the Melanie Berg. We do have one entry. So okay. right now, they're the winner. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the sock is one adult pair of socks. They could be shorties, thigh highs. We don't care. They just need Yoga to fit socks. adult feet. Hmm? Yep. Yoga socks, sometimes, you know, without the heel. Oh, yeah, your yoga socks. They can even be those, um, I know that we're entering into the warmer months. So I was thinking about making, um, they're called, it, the pattern is called keep it, keep them on the, on their toes. Oh, I it's, haven't heard. Um, it's kind of like a, it's like, like a, I guess they call them skimmer socks. So they're only like, they're, they're like the no-show socks, you know? Okay. Like the journey pattern and things like that. I've not looked at the journey pattern, but, um, one of the, I think it's Sarah from Cozy Up, her sister-in-law designed okay. the pattern. Nice. She was test knitting it for her a few, a couple years ago. Okay, um, yeah. It has, like, the pretty toe lace. Yep. Um, so I was thinking about making some of those. And they only take, like, 20 grams of yarn. Oh, wow. It's not a lot at all. Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. Okay. Anyways, back to the... <laughs> Sorry. You're waffling already. <laughs> so the second one um, is our West painted along. Any Stephen West pattern that has painted, painting, stitch. Uh, somebody asked about the stitch by number because Nikki's doing it. And yes, that does qualify. Um, yeah, anything that's painted, painting. He has a bundle. We also have the bundle linked on our Ravelry. Anything that's in that bundle uh, qualifies. If you have a question, if you're not sure, let us know. Uh, reach out to us and we will answer. The um, projects could be uh, less than 50% done at the beginning of the Cal, which was April 1st. Not, We're not pushing it back to the beginning of the year. Um, and we will draw prizes for that Cal at the end of June? We can. We didn't yeah. say when we were going to do. We just knew that we were going to end it in December. We would pull whenever we felt like it. Yeah, let's do a prize at the end of June. Okay. Um, and we say that it, it's going to go until the end of the year, but 
if you know us at all, you know that that's subject to change because we make our own rules. We don't have rules. We do not. We, we have loose rules. And then the other winner for the Makeathon weekend mm -hmm. um, is. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, number 24. I thought you were going to take care of that winner, so I left you. It, it's, we didn't talk, you know. I don't know who it is. You wrote it down. I, I wrote it down. <laughs> number 24, which was DK47203, which is Deborah. So, Deborah, yeah, get in seven. contact with us and we'll get a pattern out to you. I remembered yeah. it was Deborah. Yep. So contact us either on Instagram or Ravelry, wherever you're more comfortable, and let us know what pattern you'd like for $10 or under. I think that's all, all the admin-y stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because our next Cal, we're going to announce the last Friday of June. She's not remembering what we talked about. That's what that look was, guys. <laughs> the look was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Later on the podcast, she'll go, oh, light bulb. It just went off. I got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to well, echo your husband and say you're real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we have to start announcing it before the end, like, maybe like two episodes before okay. the end that's fine anyways so fo's i will just move right along yeah because i ain't got none i finally finished my mom socks that i started two years ago um the yarn was brown sheep hand painted woolly foot here that's really good color representation and then the heel and the cuff and the toe i did in a navy from um, Cascade Heritage. Mm -hmm. And because this is my first time doing, this was my very first time doing, um, what's the heel, Heather? Shadow wrap. Shadow wrap, there we go. I didn't know how long to make these. I'm so used to my cut-in heel that I do my cut-in heel and then I go 64, then I start my coat. Well, that's what I did. But these now will fit a size 10 or 11 of women's. So, but I thought you said you were trying them on. I did, but now that I did the toe, now they're too big. Uh -huh. So I don't know whose these are going to be. You can send them to Kim. They'll be too loose for her. Why? Because she has a really narrow leg, remember? And she makes hers on like 60 on twos. I don't know. How will the try them on in Kim, Chicago? Talk to, yeah, that's true. Kim, talk to me if this is something you'd be interested in. But I don't remember if this is super washable. So I'll have to look oh. Maybe Kalia then? I don't know. Right. You'll find um, somebody. So yeah. I accidentally made too big of socks. What size does Sam wear? Same as me. Oh. And my mom. I wear the same as you. So. Right. Can't send it to me. Evelyn wears size eight. You send it to Hector. Hector's gonna wear shorty socks. You don't care. Carson calls them ankle biters. Ankle biters, yeah. You don't care. Okay. It might they might come to Hector. <laughs> he does have to come in. So that is our my only FO, and I know Heather has not had a chance to knit just like I really haven't had a chance to knit this last week. So we're we'll very hitting. We'll get into that in life updates. So would you like to share one of your finished or do you want me to go on with one of my or not finished whips? I have four. I have two. Okay. You can go ahead. I, I will start with my birthday cast on. Um this is in cucumber colorway from knit picks um obviously this i had started and rewound it into a ball 
because I wasn't happy with it. I had made the boxy or started the boxy and it was just going to be gigantic on me. So I pulled mm-hmm. it out and I, yes, I did gauge swatch, but I didn't realize how much positive ease was written into the pattern. So I took my yarn back and it sat. I have six skeins of it. I'm now making the lovely tea by Kimberly McElhen. Mecca, I'm not even going to try. Her. But she also has a podcast, Knit a Rainbow. But this is the very start of the lovely tea. So I got to where the short row starts and I promptly put it down. Mm-hmm. I have not picked what bag I'm going to put it in yet. So, so um, I guess I'll go with these since they're in my hand. Um, since I finished my February, well, finished my February socks. I still need to do some finishing, but I'm being lazy. Uh, I picked up my March socks. Yes, I know we're in June and I'm still working my March socks. Um, I was here at this gold marker the last time you saw it. So I literally have done like two rows. Um, I'll show you this side to see the patterning. I'm doing the one slip one, uh, but I'm alternating staggering it so it kind of oh. it won't see everything color way yeah but like if you see here on the green this mm-hmm. is the slip but then up here the next stitch was the slip so I'm staggering oh, okay. it um and this is of course area 51 surprise surprise uh I had to actually look up this colorway because I wasn't sure what it was it's um the you are my hero colorway. Um, yeah, this is now that's I'm just keeping in my head. It's after, so I mean, it makes sense because I just finished the we're all invited to the party colorway, and this is the next scene after the house party and the fight. And Laura like goes or meet, she doesn't go to pick her up, but she like meets Rory at the house, and she's like, You started a fight. And got the cops called. Did you ever know yep. that you're my hero? And she like w- runs down the street after Rory singing the song. So it makes sense because scenes. Um, and you still haven't found a quote or a situation in Gilmore Girls that I don't know about. I haven't looked yet. Oh, and in case you didn't catch the whole June 3rd thing, it's June 3rd. And that's when Lorelai and Luke were supposed to get married. Yep. And she was telling everybody, June 3rd, save the date. It's June 3rd. Save the date. Save the date. And I will follow you with more Area 51. And this is, um, I just cast these on last night because I had nothing down here to work on while I was making dinner and I was on a Zoom call. This is also Gilmore and it is... Is it when Kurt got a pig or when did Kurt get a pig? You got that one? Yeah. I have to get that one. So just started last night and I'm trying to do 20 rows of ribbing because normally I only do 15 or 10 because I'm trying to make them get it for somebody, you know, maybe somebody else in my family. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's what I'm working on. I have to put a marker. Oh, I do have markers right here to put in. I'll screen, but look, I got your gnome right there. So it's a plug. Just kidding. Basically. Selfish <laughs> plug. No. Link to my stores down below. It will be. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm obsessed with gnomes, as everybody knows. And I love these stitch markers because they're light. They have my favorite class. Mm-hmm. And I want her to make more gnomes in different colors. Because I need all the gnomes all the time. I was thinking about making the, um, I know this is a side tangent. Um, I was thinking about making gnomes that just had like the hat, you know, nothing in their hands. They're just standing there in the pride colorway. Make a set of pride gnomes. 
You should do it. And I'll talk about my other sake for Heather goes on with Herma so that we can get. I'm in the middle of the heel. So this was my lucky dip for mm -hmm. June. So I just started these as well. And this is um, Artistics Yarns by Abby. Mm -hmm. And this is in the colorway All or Nothing. Somebody, as soon as I caked this, claimed the other half of my skein, like before I even caked it. It wasn't me. It was not. So there it is all caked up. Look at my gloriness. That's pretty. What um, was the lucky dip number? 12. Oh, 12. Because I'm in the middle of the heel, I don't like to do the heel in the car, like when I'm waiting for Justin that, because I'm going to have to quick throw it in the bag. So I wanted to keep this one, and that's why I started the second one. And it's sock club camp. So I was, I, I am participating, and I'm going back and forth with how many I'm going to challenge myself to do. I almost, I almost, I haven't like completely set a goal yet, but. I was like, well, I could do a pair a month, a week. I was like, but I really, do I really want to push myself that hard? So no. maybe a pair every two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. How many did you complete last year? Seven. Seven in three months? Mm -hmm. Because remember the month of June or July... I started them in June, but I didn't do them until July because that's when I'm down in Arkansas. And that's so I true. just worked on socks while I was at the shop. That's true. So I would say doing a pair, I would say a week and a half a pair. Okay. I'll have to calculate it. Yeah. But stay tuned for that goal. Let us know if you're participating in summer sock camp down below. I person the um magic loop your what i'm in magic loop camp oh you're only yeah, doing magic loop loop camp yeah i mean i started these on double points just because that's what i had by me but as soon as i got upstairs mm -hmm. i put my magic loop you have one more to talk about otherwise i have one more no i do i just was okay. Okay, I'm going to apologize now for the needles clanking, but clink, clank, clink, clank. We were on Wednesday Zoom, which we are doing Wednesday Zooms again. All of the information will be down below and on Instagram. We hope that you will join us. And one of our friends, Jen, was knitting on her Mema, which is beautiful. And I decided to pick up my Mema too. So this is what I have so far. Um, you guys have seen this for ever and a day. It's not anything new. But my stitch marker is here under my arm. So it's dark, let me see. Can you see that? Yep, right there I cut, oh, there um, you go. So there's my marker. I got about, I don't know, half an inch done. Um, and I'm almost four inches from under my arm to here. So what I'm going to do, and I, I don't know if I told you guys last time I showed this or not, but I feel like this bit of yarn is the never ending bit of yarn. <laughs> um, I have this much left. I have not weighed it to see how much it is. Still not. I literally have this much left. Um, I wanted to finish this ball and before I joined another ball for my body, I wanted to go ahead and do my sleeves because whatever I have left after my sleeves are done is going to go into my body. But I have a question. I need some help. For the people that have made the MEMA, I don't remember what size I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing the extra large size. I think so. Anyways, the people that have made the MEMA, and I've and I've searched project pages on Ravelry. Um, 
already. So that's why I'm like, I've already tried to find the answer to my question and I can't. So I'm coming to you. If you have made the MEMA, I need to know how many grams you used for the button band or the neck band. I guess it's not a button band because there's no buttons. But so I'm going to finish this ball that I have currently going. Then I'm going to make my sleeves. And then whatever is left, I wanted to put on my body because I do think I want to extend my body a little bit, but I'm not sure. But I need to reserve at least that much or maybe even a little bit more for my button band. Right. So if you could let me know how many you used. If you know. If you know. I know. I And I know that the button band's not huge like it's not really thick um it's only like 10 rows um so in theory it wouldn't take a lot but you're going all the way around the sweater you know i mean you're going all the way around the front if I, guess I would say you need probably 30, 25 to 30 grams like a mini you know like a 20 gram 30 gram mini Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let and me know like, if I'm right. What? So let me know if I'm any kind of right. Yeah. Or wrong. Um and I have no like I have no hard and fast thing that I'm gonna say, like, I wanna do it one inch. I wanna do it an inch and a half. I don't like if I run out of yarn and I've only done a half an inch. She tried to conceal that. If I only had like half an inch, that's fine. Like it's, it is what it is. But I would like to stay as true to pattern as I can. I oh, wish you luck. So please let me know. And I mean, it's a commercial yarn. So, so I think I have a scan of that here. So like I could always mail it to you. All else fails. I mean, I can go to Hobby Lobby and buy a scan of you. I don't think I have one here, but I can figure it out. Oh my goodness. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you say something while I was talking? No, I was yawning. Okay. It's your turn. Yeah, and I'm a bad podcaster because I put this down in the middle of the row. Well, you should have fixed it while I was talking. I didn't know it. <laughs> I, too, am going to make the lovely tea. I just have to redo my swatch. Um, here is my stitch by number that we talked about in the Stephen Westcal. Mm -hmm. So that, that was where Heather's star was down there. So I only got one brick in. But I got a brick in. One is better than none. A little bit of progress. That's all that counts. So that is all of my whips. Mine, too. For knitting, um, I do have, technically I have two, but we'll talk about that in a second. I have one cross stitch that I was going to show you and the one I was going to hide. So here is the one that you saw and I rolled some of it up, but so I got all the snowflake done and then started this part. And so the Q-snap is part of my birthday present and so is the needle minder mm -hmm. so um i have a pit heather had popped in a picture last time i think so mm -hmm. she still has that picture to put in because it's a, from an etsy shop called maddie's patterns and it is called snowflake ornament so i just changed out the color that i i'm using then I'll talk about, I got a gift in the mail yesterday from a lovely viewer and friend, Amy, sent me this. Mm -hmm. Wasn't gonna start it, because mm -hmm. one project. But then I reasoned with myself, which you don't do when your friends aren't with you. But I reasoned with myself that I have one large project, because that snowflake ornament one is kind of big mm -hmm. I, i'll do one big project 
and one small project, but that's it. That's all. So here mm -hmm. is another Q-snap that I got for my birthday from a friend with another needle minder. And this is what I got finished, started yesterday. So in my defense of why I said it was okay, because if I can do the word in one night, I can do one night, one night, one night, one night, and then all the backstitching. And in five days, I'll be done. And that was fine until I had Q-snaps and frames and fabric to put. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But we'll talk, we'll, we'll revisit the subject next week, okay? No, we're not. Mm -hmm. So I will go into, I guess. Wait, I have a, I want to show. Okay, go ahead, go. I thought you were done showing. That's the only reason why I did it. So I... I too am a cross stitcher. She is. She's the one who got me started. No, she didn't get me started, started, but she was helping me. Yeah. I, I have not cross stitched since we moved here because all my cross stitch stuff was packed away. And I thought it was in the garage, but it was really under my bed the whole time. And I could have taken out whenever I wanted. So it's on my hoop still, which I know that's bad. Don't come for me. But this is <gasps> what I am cross stitching. I want to do it. I want to this do is all of called it. Christmas on Gingerbread Lane. Something. I'll post the picture here. It is a frosted pumpkin citry design. This is going to be another gingerbread house. This is a little girl or part of a little girl. Anyways, I'm going to stitch some more on this. And for I those of you who don't come to Wednesday Zooms, Heather teaches me and Kim our own <laughs> private lessons on Wednesday. So if you have questions, come to our teacher, the Obi Wan Kenobi over there. <laughs> um, we love so yeah, Heather. a wealth I, of information for us. I enjoy cross teaching, I just have to get back into it. Um, and I currently have two projects started one is that one and then another one is a full coverage heaven and earth design that i only have like a 10 by 10 square done because did it's full coverage that? huh did you show that last week no oh do you want me to show it i thought you showed it last week for some reason mm -mm. but yes you should you will tell from my fabric choices that I really like the oatmeal fabric. <laughs> There's a crochet hook in here. That's weird. So uh -huh. I do the parking method. So I will keep my threads attached here. And that's literally all I have. Nice. And I will post a picture of this design here too. Okay. Now should I show acquisitions and birthday gifts? Yeah, now I'm done. Okay. Sorry, I do not mean to cut you off whatsoever. That's okay. I didn't know if you were showing cross I didn't know I was going to show either, but it was just a spur of the moment decision. Yay. So on top of the one that I'm doing already, this one also came yesterday in the mail with my other one from Amy. Amy, I completely love them and you know how much I adore my gnomes. Mm -hmm. So this one, I told myself I couldn't start. So either I got the ornament, the snowflake ornament or my other gnome one. But I think this is considered like a medium. Am I wrong on that? No, yeah, it'll be a medium. So I don't want to, like I said, I want to really stick with only doing one small or medium and one large. Um, so yeah. So Wait till you get into the full coverage. I have not gone down that rabbit hole yet. Mm. Other gifts that were sent to me were these. So I have a six inch one and then an 11 by 11. 
cards that I think of that. I'm just not unwrapping them until I need them. I got a six pack of mini scissors. Oh, where'd you get those from? Um, this was a gift off of Amazon. Somebody sent me. And then I have those two needle monitors I showed you came in a four pack. So here is, I don't know what that's, I think it's a kitten or a bear. It's a hedgehog. Okay. That's a fox. Another fox. And then what it was was a gift card for Amazon and I got to pick what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then I got these because they're waterproof and I want to keep my individual flosses that I buy for patterns <clears throat> in one of these mm -hmm. and with a scissors and a needle. So that was all from that one person. And then I did the sweater, the cardi party with around the table. Mm -hmm. My gift came in that I won the prize. So I got a skein of ridiculous and a bulky weight and butterfly effect okay. and a needle um, gauge, mm -hmm. which, you know, can never have enough of those when I need them. Then um, when I first started cross-stitching, I had been talked into doing the pandemic, but I had to order the floss. So my flosses came in and I'm doing it on 14 count. So I will be using 25, maybe more of this turquoise color. What's the number? You would ask me that. 3843. So I ordered all that, those came in. And then remember the adulting one that I, I screwed up, I couldn't get it to pull back. Mm -hmm. And because I just, I just bought new thread because that was a kit and the numbers didn't coincide with DMC. So I just got for the roses and then the leaves. Oh, so those aren't the numbers that, what was the kit? It was a dimensions kit. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that. So there's a conversion chart online. That's what you told me after I did this. So, but I figured Mm -hmm. they're close yeah. enough right so this is 761 mm -hmm. 321 mm -hmm. 367 and 368 so i got those to restart that one and then i didn't know hobby lobby has their own ada so mm -hmm. like this one is marbled mm -hmm. and then i just got another white like off white. This is more of a cream, but the camera's picking it up white. Yeah, that's right. So, and then I bought this pack, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. But yeah. I bought this just to do a free, that free pattern I showed you and talked about last week mm -hmm. for this. So that's what that's going to be. Yeah. And but, I, um, there is, so the chart that I found. Mm -hmm. um, it has all of the popular so it has like dimensions kits that you can convert to DMC um, and then it has like the DMC to anchor the DMC wow. to the, yeah so if you run out of um, the floss for the dimensions kit and then I know I have the it's saved on my computer the Yay. bookmark or whatever so yeah, that granny screw, I bought this marbled one. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I know that I'm going to do just floss pick from my stash. Right. Um, but I don't think I have any fabric. I have to get some fabric. And then I purchased some stuff with gift cards. So here is this pattern that I bought. And I'm going to put the shops for Etsy down below. Mm -hmm. These. These are all Christmas ones. So I figured I'd make ornaments for the kids this year. Yeah, and then so I cute. love dandelion. So like this kind of black and white. Um, mm -hmm. 
the photo like that, it always reminds me of my grandpa. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make that and put it by his turn. And then other patterns I got were, these were the ones I got last week that I didn't print out pictures of. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these have naughty words, so I'm not going to read them. So those are the 12 that I bought with everything. So thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. The Boo, Boo Crew is coming up soon. I know that. That's a free one. That's a Halloween one. And then they got a new Christmas sampler coming out from a uh, fat quarter shop. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what is that shop? Fat quarter shop. And they do a lot of free ones. So mm -hmm. that is all I have. Yeah, I didn't purchase any yarn. Um, can we move into shop news? Yep. So, um, this kind of kind of does a little bit of crossover to life stuff, but um, I extended the pre-order sale uh, until the midnight on Tuesday. Um, so that is now closed. Thank you to those who have purchased for me. Um, but sadly, Tuesday morning, well, really Monday night, my youngest, Gabriel, um, got sick. So I really have not had tons of time. Um, he stayed home the last three days of school because he could not go to school. Um, he had really a uh, nasty cough. We did a COVID test. He's fine. He's, he doesn't have COVID. Um, he did develop a kind of low-grade fever. Um, so he's good now. Um, he still does have the lingering cough, but it's pretty much gone away. So I am behind on shipping out orders. Um, I'm going to hopefully work today, um, but we have a pretty busy weekend ahead. So um, yeah, I will get orders out as soon as I possibly can. And then I have to complete my stuff to send to Nikki for the kids. So which leads to the, our shop new my shop news for um, kits. We have five left out of 20. So if you go over, there's five more left. Once these are gone, they are gone. Mm -hmm. They're never coming back in. I've used up all the fabric, all the scraps of the fabric. So there's literally nothing left. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if they are right on the front page. I have them very quick and easy to find. And those will ship out the last week of June so that they get to you guys the first week of July. Yeah. So, and me and Heather are, are diligently working mm -hmm. on a special kit that may come out in August. So, yes. yeah, we are constantly talking about what we can collab on, what we can bring out. Um, bouncing ideas back and forth for each other for our shops. Um, it's really nice to have a like-minded friend that can help with the, you know, does this idea sound stupid? Do you think people are going to like this, you know? Um, does this really, look okay with this color? Yeah, it really helps to be able to have those conversations and, um, but also, like, to be honest with each other, like, mm, I don't know that that's necessarily gonna fly, but good choice, good try. <laughs> but um, yeah, we. we or I don't like those kind of closes, Heather. I need you to change that. Yeah, which I do, and now they're great. Um, and yeah, guys, so just to promote her a little bit more, like her summer kit would have been so cute if you, like, especially with little kids, buy two sets, and then they have matching earrings. I mean, they can be progress keepers, too, but they could be earrings, too. My lollipop? My pop skills? Yeah. 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 They would have been really cute as earrings on, on little girls or on adults. I mean, yeah. just saying. So the lollipops are 
currently out of the out of the shop until the 13th of June. Um, and that's when my July set will go up for pre-order. Um, I have changed it. So if you got the hints that we were talking about last week, um, they're wrong now. <laughs> so it is no longer going to be a patriotic theme. I kind of just decided that I wanted to make, make it more streamlined into summer. Not so. And they're yeah. really cute. I got to see him yesterday. Yeah, she did. She got to see him yesterday. But so. even like my gnome, if I would have bought two of these for Easter, mm -hmm. I could have wore those on Easter. You could have, yeah. So, just saying. Yeah. So, I talked about my, well, I talked about some of my life updates. But we are done with shop and knitting and acquisitions. So if you're not here for the life stuff, we will see you next week. But do you have anything to add? Because I feel like I've been talking a lot. <laughs> um, life stuff. Uh, as most of you know, I take care of my grandmother. We've had some ups and downs with her well-being she's great mm -hmm. she just had a reaction to a medication and wasn't doing so great for a little while um got a little hairy mm -hmm. had a couple doctor's appointments we're doing great now um my health is doing okay just had a doctor's appointment this morning but you know life is life the more you do the more things can go wrong so just trying to balance. It's yeah. a big back, back for me right now. So we are keeping everybody in our thoughts and prayers that everybody is doing well. Mm -hmm. I have a junior now after, you know, two o'clock this afternoon. Mm -hmm. He he goes to being a junior at two o'clock. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. Um. I'm not ready. I want to put him in the dryer, like I've said, yeah. but I'm not, you don't worry. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready for 16. I mean, 19 <laughs> days. So 16. Are you ready for 18? Oh, no, no. Well, that's what I got too. I know. Um, that's, I don't know. Yeah. And for Evelyn, she, so obviously this is a class of 2022, you know, so every time her like at school they would be doing announcements or whatever um they would say like to the seniors are you feeling 22 the taylor swift song oh, and Lord. so now um so now like they say this like little saying for 2023 which is evelyn's evelyn's grade yeah evelyn will be a senior next year well she technically is a senior already um <laughs> yeah I'm not ready for it and she posted something on Instagram yesterday like uh, peace out 11th grade hello senior whatever post and I commented I'm not ready and she was like too bad <laughs> <laughs> I can hear her saying that too bad mom too yeah. bad um, I mean Matthew got off the bus yelling yesterday when I was on here with you and like yeah we oh, could hear so him sad. all the way into the house and mm -hmm. then came right up behind Heather and like really yelled. And I was like, whoa, dude, whoa, microphone. Yeah. So I now have a senior, a seventh grader, and a third grader. Mm -hmm. um, and Evelyn's doing cheer in summer school. Um, I can't believe it because when we met, Harvey was just being born that year, and he's going to be a kindergartner next year. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. We met, and Gabe was still at home. Yeah, he was still in a diaper. Mm -hmm. So we went through, he saw me through the kindergarten, kindergarten into distance learning, into Gabe trying to escape the fence. Mm -hmm. the... That was all yeah. the things that came in life 
since then. Moving. Yeah, it's been a crazy five years. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, my sister's coming to town this weekend. Um, we're going to have my nephew's memorial. It's going to turn into more of like a memorial hangout. Yeah. Um, because it's currently spring season here. Um, it's the end of spring season. So a lot of teams are doing their playoffs and, um, you know, end of the season get togethers and stuff. So field, fields are pretty full, um, which is fine. I mean, we can just have the hangout at my house. And then I think Sunday they want to do some sort of um, thing at the beach down where we used to live. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to do that. And then um, Matt's not playing baseball this weekend. So Is he done now? No, he. they have a game. They have one more week. They have games on Saturday and Sunday, but I opted to not participate. Um, gotcha. Just because we have a busy weekend with family and stuff. Yeah. And then their playoffs are next Sunday. So it'll be the 11th, I think. Yeah. yeah. 10th is 10th is Friday, 11th is Saturday, so 12th. 12th, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, his... Oh yeah, because the 11th is my niece's graduation party, and that's the 11th. Or that's Saturday. Um, so yeah. That's what's going on with us. I was good. So we will let these kind people go. Thanks for watching to the end if you made it. Mm -hmm. Sorry that we're all over the place. Yeah. But if you know us at all, that kind of happens. Yeah. Oh, wait, one more thing. Sorry before we let you go. I noticed yesterday that we have received a lot of new followers. Um, so we would like to say hello and welcome. Um, we promise we're not always... Mm, no. We're always crazy. Uh, <laughs> I was like, but, be careful what you're promising these people because I don't know if I signed up. Yeah. Um, but we are ever so closer to our 250 subscriber giveaway. So if you are a viewer, but you have not clicked the subscribe button, please do so. If you enjoy our show and you like our shenanigans, we not only invite you to share our podcast, but we invite you to join us on Wednesdays for our in-person, not in-person, virtual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was going to say it would be like live. Um, our virtual knit together, craft together, hangout session. Um, Nikki and I are both there. Um, we laugh and entertain each other and have an overall great time. So, um, yeah, once we hit our 250, we will both be contributing to a giveaway. So, yeah. Prize winners, get in contact with us. Mm -hmm. And have a great week. Happy crafting. Yeah. Have a great week. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye.